his bad rider. First ban, Miracle, Nagasar, and Respect ban. Kometai has been banned out by Power Gaming. They they had a lot of problems with Okometai in the last game, the next game picket. And the um, part second ban for Mineski GG Network is quite good ban. First pick from Power Gaming, what's it gonna be? It might be a Slada. I think I think it should be a Slada. Now you got a chance to play. Yes, that's gonna be Slada. You got a chance to play one of the most OP heroes in 7.01 patch. You gotta grab it. Do not trade with any heroes. You know, and if you get lucky enough in the second pick, you might get a Rubik. If you get Rubik Slada, man, that's that's it. <laughs> that's it. Now Mineski GG it we're gonna deal with Slada. That's a big big deal. To be honest. You don't wanna play against Slada. His his Guardian sprint is too sheet. Uh without he, he didn't even have to use a mana. And also the Citrine Crutch is just too fast cooldown. That um, that's why I say that Minetsi gotta think carefully dealing with this Slada. They they got a chance to deal with Slada Life Stealer. Slada Life Stealer is the kind of combo that I haven't seen much these days because people always ban Slada in the first ban. But you know, <laughs> oh man, Minetsi spent so much time for picking. They they are forced to pay to play a life stealer this one. If they don't pick a life stealer, they gotta deal with a lot of life stealer. Not not a good ban in, in the first ban phase for Team Mineski GG Network. They're supposed to ban Slada out. Seems like they, they kinda forgot. They went for the first ban Chow Demon and then a punch. It's a dark sea for Minesi GG Network. Spend too much time on this. They don't want to deal with the first pick slider from Power Gaming, obviously. And it's gonna be Spirit Breaker. Radiant team pick. Uh, in order to stop that life stealer, I think. Uh, I don't get the idea of having Spirit Breaker and Darks here. To. Ten seconds remaining. Hmm. Now Power Gaming, they got a chance to go for a Life Dealer Slada, which is not bad at all. Or they could just go for a Rubik. Minesi GG Network went for a Darkseer. Darkseer Spirit Breaker combo is not bad, you know, putting Ion Chair on Spirit Breaker, let him charge. It's gonna be easy kill. It, it would be quite dangerous for the middle lane. So Power Gaming might have to consider pick up... Um, uh, Middle lane with some survival ability.
fifty second. Man, it seems like both parties spend too much time on the on the band pick phase in the in the first phase of band pick. And they went for Nyx Assassin. They didn't even run. Seems like they got to play a slaughter as a position four instead. It's gonna be Siang Sai on Nyx Assassin. Silencer has been banned. A pretty good ban by Minesi banned out Silencer. He's, he's one of the best um one of the best supports. When 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 you wanna play a slaughter as your as your position four, silencer is it's a I mean it's a good position five to team up with a slaughter. Spirit banned out by Power Gaming. Five seconds remaining. Nah, the reason they banned out Ember Spirit because it's so hard Radiant to kill. Nixon cannot solo kill him or uh, set him up. Once he drop, uh, drop his impale, Ember Spirit just gonna fly away. Meeple for the fourth ban of Team Minesi GG Network. Nobody pick a Luna or a Rubik yet. I'm pretty sure that a Rubik will be picked, maybe by Power Gaming or Minesi GG Network. It would be picked in a third pick. Life Zilla has been banned instead of picking it. Mm. Interesting. Now, in this case, I am looking for something like a Shadow Fiend for Power Gaming. Some mid heroes that can team up with that with that uh, amplify damage, Ten maybe Templar Assassin or Shadow Fiend is not bad. But this one is going to be Rubik. If if not for Mineski, it's going to be for Power Gaming. It, it it should be for, Min but Mineski pick a disruptor instead. Seems like they 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 more like a AOE oriented this one. They're trying to. Um, to strengthen their their uh, power in team fight, so obviously they're gonna have a very passive game when you have a Darcia as your all lane. Running out of time for team power gaming, and that's the Rubik. Like I say, it's gotta be Rubik. Uh, he he's too good to be ignored. If if Mineski is not gonna pick it, then it's gonna be power gaming. The telekinesis is uh is a very reliable stunners. And the fact that you uh, no feel is very useful in seven point zero one patch because a lot of heroes got uh got a talent like fifteen percent a spell amplifier, all those stuff. No feel can help a lot. But Radiant team pick. it's a Chao Fein from Mineski, so I'm thinking about Templar Assassin or even Marana. Ten seconds remaining. Ember Spirit has been banned out, so yeah, it should be Five TA. They're gonna pick the hard carry first. Surprisingly, Luna has been picked so late in a fourth pick. Never too late to pick a Luna. Ten seconds remaining. 
10 plus the scene has been that banned out. It seems like Mineski knows that Power Gaming is gonna pick TA for DDC. So no, um, let's think about other physical hitting mid laner. Racer, I can think of. Racer vs Shadow Fiend is also not bad, and also Racer, it's tank enough to stand the damage of the Spirit Charge. I am thinking about Razor. Uh, uh, not Razor, I'm sorry, Viper. Not Razor. I'm thinking about Viper. Viper or Mirana. These two heroes. Mirana can leap away from the charge. Ten seconds remaining. Viper? Outworld Devourer. Okay. GG Network. What's it gonna be? This is the hard carry. I would like to see something new. We always see the same hard carry. How about. Mm, well, we still got a Weaver in the pool. It might be a Weaver. But picking a Weaver into a slaughter must be hard. So it's gonna be Faces War. It's a hard carry. Long time no see, mate. In the game already, let's do some quick intro play who in this game for team um, for power gaming in a radiant side MT on Rubik, Jackal on Luna, Sai on Nixasine, 666 on Slada, DDC on Outworld Devourer for Mineski in the dire side, Baski Mikasi on Charter Fiend, Miracle L on Faces Void, Ninja Boogie on Disruptor, Jules on Spirit Breaker, and RR on Darkseer. Um, he's just trying to cover somewhere around here, I think. Seems like Team Power Gaming really want three barry rooms here, so they just they might try to contest. Face as well. It should be a Power Triad first, get a ring of Aquila, Power Triad, and uh, Lincoln Sphere. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Lincoln Fear. Get a Lincoln Fear and maybe just some damage later. Mentor style. Next the scene. Three power rune for Team Inesi Dota 2. Very nice cover. Oops. Sorry. I changed the wrong overlay. <laughs> Oh, that was really close. Sorry, sorry. Top lane. So let's take a look at the lane first. Bottom lane is gonna be duo lane, the uh, Spirit Breaker and Darkseer as we thought. Duo mid actually. Shadow Fiend and Ninja Boogie spamming his Thunder Strike. Top lane Miracle. Stay alone here, deal with Slaughter. And Rubik a uh, try lane on Miracle, so he gotta maybe might have to switch himself to play as an off laner or 
they might have to move some support to stay with him. That's what I'm talking about. Ninja Boogie is going back. Did you see? Do you guys want more radio Dota? <laughs> I can give you more radio Dota. Leaving you guys at the wedding scenes. <laughs> it's in cocky wedding room. So. Top lane is gonna be quite hard for Faceless Void. He only got one last hit. You know, dealing with that Luna now oh, it seems like gonna be a team fight right there. DDC dropping quite low, he outworld devourer. Use as from Pissament or oh, that juice already his port coming just in time. Pelicanis is back, Ninja Boogie goes down first because of the fate bomb that lots of hard carry too. Citrin Crutch comes out, 666 trying to do some body block juice. No more stun. He still can stun one time, Citrin Crutch. Is that enough damage to kill the oh that was enough? One versus two, another rage will be out soon. Baski Mekasi, Telekinesis, 666 cross away. Oh my god, Ninja Boogie. Wait him on a high ground and they are at the shrine together. Oh my goodness. Denied. Okay, denied. They say. Man, I, I can feel that this game is going to be a super action packed game for sure. As Team Mineski, don't wanna lose this one. If they lose this, they get the zero points. If Power Gaming win this, they're gonna get the first three points in this qualifiers round. Sai. Pop Spike Crab Pace. But I think Sai will go down anyway because of the Ion Shell. Nice skill by Team Minesi. Spirit Breaker, Dark Seer. They must have screamed this, this combo quite a lot for Minesi. They pick it in the most important game of the series. Now congratulations guys, now you can see the uh, creep stats because I, I changed the, the new overlay on. Gotta give the shout out to the organizer providing me new overlay so you guys can see how many creeps they kills. How many kills they creeps. Now look at that DDC get charged once again. Shadow race from the high ground dropping quite low 666. How about a long range shadow race over there? Get back here and a race. Four to two games go MTR gonna be the next one. Another charge of darkness comes out. Killing sprees already for Ninja Boogie. Minesi start this game super aggressive on power. Wow. Look at that. Now Tian Sai being chased out by RR on an iron trail. Look at that. He doesn't have to. Finally, the Spike pace comes out. Like I told you guys during the cast that if if you're gonna deal with Darkseer and Barathrum, it will be hard for the mid laner. He will be charged all the time. And it's not that hard to take him down, even though he got an Astro imprisonment. Void got a free farm on top. Um, informing you guys again that right after this game, it will be the highlight match of the tournament. Face uh, Team Fnatic versus Team TNC. It's gonna be hell a game, man. Now nah, look at that. Gonna get charged. Sai so trying to stay near the tower. Cancel the charge already. Next scene. <clears throat> Uh, let's six. I 
in its parts, the highest net worth still on Shadowfane. Jules on Invisibility Rune. At the same time, having the Ion Shell on him, he can easily deal secret damage on MTR. Four heroes of Team Power Gaming at the bottom lane. Of course, space created for it. Miracle free farming on top. Already got a power triad. Jules. Now it become 3v3. Face that's why even join the team fight with a chronosphere. See how aggressive Vinesi is inside off with a charge and a loose end beam to stop him. Goes in. Face that's why chronosphere on only one, but he got a key hero. They got a that outnumber that guy first. Jacko. Dropping quite low, only a few hits away, he being punched by the Darkseer, diving in the tower, he got an ice on shell on him, he finished the slider down, but they're not done yet, they're gonna get them all, a charge on MTR, here we go, a search on Miracle, Medical Bash comes out, the Fateful to decrease the damage, jumped on him with a double kill, somebody teleport down, it's gonna be slider tower shooting on the juice, two, a charge on the slider too, Citrine cut, oh, Mikasi comes in, from nowhere, all of them join the team fight. Basky Mikasi. And that almost get the first 10 kills. Goes to Team Mineski. Space create for Outworld Devourer. Doesn't look good this one for Power Gaming. That's the craft. Basky Mikasi. Ah, oh, a little bit too greedy. I mean, I mean, if you play Nixon Sin, you know that if you use Vendetta on the target, it, it's so hard for you to land an impel. So you might have to just go for a first hit impel to stun in order to to um, let your teammate follow up. Nessie down one game. They can't lose this one or they will get uh, they will lose two games in a row in these qualifiers. That cannot be hap that cannot happen. Um teams in Southeast Asia are getting ready for DAC 2017 qualifier soon. So it should be I'm, I'm not sure when. Really not sure. Hmm. Power from charge. That's the first ten kills go to Team Minetti. Somebody get things back. A very nice neither strike. To get rid of that slaughter. Double kill. Seems like Darcy and Baratron work so well. Outward Devourer teleport down. Outward Devourer Astron Prism in on Basky Mikasi turning up the circle. Chaotic Field Static Storm is a zoning Chaotic Field. RR on the bottom lane free farm. Breaker aiming for the jackal, standing jackal with the target. Spirit Breaker is on invisibility rune. He's got ion shell on him. Uh, he's staying near. When jackal trying to run away, he will charge him and start off with a needle strike. Vacuum back, very easy kill. Top lane, faces Void trying to chase our faces Void already got power triad and him a dominator. Pretty sure he's gonna go for the next item, Lincoln Sphere. Or maybe just go straight to a Mentor style, who knows? Let's take a look at the talent tree. Um, I'm thinking about plus 15 attack speed instead of going 
for plus 5 strength get attack speed, get the uh, 25 damage and plus 120 gold per min would be great Faces void. Like I said, he's just gonna go straight to a mental style. Get a mental style up. Maybe get an Agony Scepter is not a bad idea too for Faces void. Decrease cooldown, increase duration. Basky Mikasi. Getting closer and closer to his. Uh, Trout Blade, get a Trout Blade, get the Dragonlands, Hurricane Pike. Now he's alone there, might get caught. All of Team Power Gaming. Don't use Vendetta, just go straight to the Impel, that's what I'm talking about. You can't use Vendetta and Impel at the same time. Don't be too greedy. 3 to 12 Oh somebody gonna get glimpsed back It will be Rubik Diving in for RR RR vacuum back and setting up the wall Wow Let me hop a little Let me hop you DDC running away with a very low HP He will definitely go down Game seems to be very easy for Minesky. It seems like Power Gaming never, um, not sure that they never deal with this combo before or what. But it seems like Spirit Breaker is de completely destroying that game. Chronosphere maybe. Oh, Glimpse back to the Celtic field. Bad, come on, give me a badge. Finally a Chronosphere on three. Killing sprees already. Next one gonna be 666 and a charge on that Rubik. They gonna get them all, it seems. Telekinesis is back, running away, but he still got negative earn on him. MTR. Get off me, he said. But Basky Mikasi still chasing on him. A race! Long range, 3 to 18. DDC gonna be the next one. Needle strike on DDC, 3 to 19, I believe. He's still on Astro Imprisonment, but once he come back, he's gonna die because of the Shadow Race. Oh man, that is really big fat shadow thing. I'm gonna show you guys the graph. Only 15 minutes, the graph is more than 10k already. See how hard the game is for Team Power Gaming. Give me a second, look at that. Look at that. We have a surprise for the Marcus Deco. 3 to 20. Now he's running away. 666 is chasing on him, but his teammate is coming here to save him. Charge of the Darkness. Arriving soon. Setting up Celtic field stage so maybe he glimpsed somebody back, uh, impaled and trying to aim at that Basky Mikasi. He still pop the magic one, this uh, all goes down. One last hit to kill that Chao Fein, glimpse it back. Nexus in. Negative earn, negative earn on Nexus in. Last impale. I have a juice kill him with the earn, vacuum back, no wall, it's fine. 4 to 22. Eclipse finally came out by Jackal. A double kill from one Eclipse. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, fiery capsule. Actually, a one fight between Power Gaming. Like, uh, yeah, they got a lot of. Let's take a look at the swing. Swing back, Team Power Gaming side. This is. 
This is what make game balance in 7.01 patch. Back then, people from other game always flame Dota 2 that ah, it's a farm game, you know. It, it only if you got your hard carry very big fat, you know, you can win late game so easy. There's no excitement in your game. So Valve came up with some swing systems. It's more like a swing sister. Six to twenty-two game score. You know, sometimes it swing too much. Like it's it's not fair at all for for the leading team. Fain, getting closer. Basky mechanic. Team Small is going to charge. Mikasi already inside to scout. Charge on side, stun on two, a rage and a requiem of soul on the high ground. Man, that's why the Shadow Fiend is so popular in this 7.01 patch because that's a lot of heals you can easily use your ultimate without being seen by your opponent. That's two down real quick. Still got an edges for Trump Fiend and he just finished his civil edge. Six to twenty four game score. Minesi is pushing forward. Try to take out his tower. Look at that. Fateful already comes out. Nancy dealing damage to the tower with the range. Faces for need to be careful a little. He went for double aura. He went for him a dominator and also Vladimir offering. Somebody gonna get games back? It's actually Jules. They don't have to rush at all for Team Nancy. All they need to just stay away from the fight zone and intruding tower with the range. But the thing is, they don't have any vision left. Gotta wait. They got Observer Wards here, that's why. Creep Wave hitting the tower. Here we go, Need a Strike aiming for the Nexus scene. He's running out of his Spike Carapace. Uh, Chrono Fierce on two at the same time. Uh, Channel Fiend walks in, ready to drop his ultimate. But no, his ultimate is still on cooldown, but that's fine. The item gap between two teams is too big. They're about to get rid of the Child of Fiend, but no problem, he's gonna come back with full HP, full mana because of the ages. It's time for DDC to retreat to the tier 4 tower. Running away. Citrine Clutch on 3 by 666, Impale on 2 by Stand Inside. Right clicking on the Child of Fiend, it's time for Team Inessi to retreat. He might die at the stairs, so right click by Outworld Environment, drop set and Eclipse, nope, no need. DDC being banned by Miracle, unstoppable, sorry for the face that's why he might turn himself in. Once again, amplified damage on Miracles running away. He's gonna get Citrine Crush though. Not sure why is he not dropping Citrine Crush. Faces void. No more Chrono Fear. Setting up a Kedrick Field Static Dome. Another kill for Miracle. It's time to go in once again. Somebody gonna get charged. Barathrum is coming back to the scene. Vacuum back. No wall this time. Jump in. A zoning chaotic field to kill the 666. He still can drop the last Citrine Crush, but no. Nope. Hey. Oh, Jew charging right here is quite far. Now they all died. Try to feel we come back soon. Let's actually respawn. Farming over there, chilling. 
Vinesi, however, still lack of damage to take down uh, the Farax. I don't know why they don't take the same Rax. Just few hits away for the Farax. Come on. Oh, 20 HP of the Farax. Staying up, Celtic Field takes on by the Disruptor. Nice zoning them out. Jackal. Impale, they're trying so hard to defend this one for Team Power Gaming. Impale on three, blinking see if you can crush three players. Top range power goes down, it's time to move to the middle. Game about to end. As you can see, Shadow Fiend is very fat. He's getting close to his Manta style. 8 to 31 game score, jumped on him. Pass him Mikasi. Miracle almost dropped his ultimate. God like for Miracle. Face is void. 9 0. Standing 66 spot back. Standing inside, trying to stun everyone with his spike for a pace. Basky holding his ultimate. Requiem of Soul is on invisibility. One hit almost killed that Rubik. He need to pop up his magic one in order to stay alive. Maybe Miracle is doing some fake B. Going in, Chronophia on. Oh, that was close. He almost get that Nexus in too. Eclipse comes out. Almost killed that Faces War. And finally, they took down him. Got Light Streak broken. Another Chronosphere comes out by the Rubik. They get rid of the... Um... Actually, I, I thought I thought Shadow Fiend died. But the thing is, he used the ultimate. Luna and Slana down. Man, this RR spamming his Guardian Grief every 45 seconds is just the big thing. Dropping some Senate Eclipse is still trying to defend for Team Power Gaming. Guys, gotta inform you guys once again that right after this, it's going to be Fnatic vs TNC. The organizer, uh, organizer already hosted the lobby. So it's gonna be real quick. So stay tuned, guys. You got you only got like two or three minutes to go to the toilet, and yep, gonna be an awesome game for sure. Time is money. I mean, TNC definitely one of the best Southeast Asia team right now. Also, Fnatic with the new lineup. So, uh, in my opinion, um, I think this is one of the most interesting match during the uh, Southeast Asia qualifier. Another another interesting match is like uh, Fnatic versus Faces and TNC versus Faces. This is one of the three best match of the qualifiers round. Mineski, this tournament mm, just playing okay. I. Shot with the darkness inside. Slada on the lower ground being hit by Basky Mikasi. Outworldy Brown trying to find some time for his teammates. So somebody get glimpsed back into the Chronosphere. Perfect timing. Nice combination between the teammates. We get rid of the DDC. Next one is going to be Nixus in. Setting up the wall, a vertical wall. Not a good wall actually. Oh, look at that taunt from Basti Mikasi. Jumped in. No more Chronosphere. He already used it from Basti uh, Miracle. Here come the Eclipse. Everyone team in Vineski need to share the damage. Mikasi finished MTR. And finally, a Requiem of Soul comes out. That should be it. That's it, said GD call guys. Uh, they end the game with a tight series. 
so they have one point for each team. We're gonna take a break for a few minutes and then we will jump into the next game, Fnatic versus TNC, coming up real quick. <laughs> 